Hey everyone, it is Dampsock here. Today I'm back with another YouTube tutorial, and today I'm going to be showcasing how to install code mods and Fusion for Bone Lab PC. Before we get started, this tutorial is mainly for the Oculus Link version of Bone Lab. I'm not 100% sure how it will work with Steam, so I'll leave a Steam tutorial in my description, but if I can't find one, I'm very sorry. Also, this tutorial will not work with pirated copies of the game, so please support an indie studio and buy the game. To start, open up your browser, any browser's fine, and go to the Melon Loader wiki page. This is a mod loader that we need in order to have code mods up and running on Bone Lab. Once you're on this page, just scroll down until you find the automated installation. Then download the correct Melon Loader installer exe file for your operating system. Since I'm using Windows, I will download the Windows installer. Just click on it and it will start installing. Once that is installed, just go to your downloads page and then just open it. Once Melon Loader is open, locate your Bone Lab exe, click on it and then click on this little green button labeled install. Since I already have Melon Loader installed, it just says, in, it just says reinstall. Also, make sure you are on the latest version of Melon Loader, which is 7.1 as of, at the time of making this video. I would not recommend enabling nightly builds as these builds can be highly unstable and crash your game. Once Melon Loader is successfully installed, just close this tab and I recommend starting your game at least once so Melon Loader can load successfully and load all the necessary files and folders. Once that is done, we can now begin installing our first code mods. And to start, we have Bonelib. Bonelib is essentially just a mod manager in game that just allows mods to load properly without any issues. Just scroll down and click on this manual download. Once that is installed, now we can begin installing our second code mod, which is hit markers. The reason why I chose this mod is because it's a little bit more complicated to install than other code mods, so it's a good example. This mod is obviously not mandatory and you can install any other mod you like. Once you're on this page, scroll down and before you click manual download, I recommend looking at the dependencies tab of mods to understand what mods these mods require in order to work properly. As you can see, the mods here Markers requires is audio input lib and bone lib. Since we already have bone lib, but we don't have audio input lib, we need to install audio input lib. Just click on this green link and it will take you to the download page and then just click manual download. Once that's downloaded, go back and then you can now install hit Markers. Once everything is downloaded, we will now need to find your Bone Lab Mods folder that is usually located in the drive where the game is installed, Program Files, Oculus, Software, Software, Stress Level Zero Inc. Bone Lab. Once you found the game directory, just open it up and you should see a mods folder, plugins folder, melon loader folder, user data, user libs, and a bunch of other files. If you do not see a mods folder or a plugins folder, that is completely okay and you can just make them. Once you have located your mods folder, we will now begin installing our first code mods, and that is Bonelib. To open these zip files, I recommend using WinRAR or 7-zip. I will leave a link to these file loaders in my description. Now, just open up the Bonelib zip file, and you will see a bunch of these files inside. The main folders we want to focus on is mods and plugins. The rest don't really matter. Once you've located these two folders, just select them and then just drag and drop into your directory. Once that is installed, now we can begin installing the dependencies for hit markers, which is audio input lib. Once this is opened, same process as before, locate your mods folder and then just drag and drop into your directory. Now to install hit markers, you can already see it's a little bit more complicated than before, as we don't even see a mods folder or a plugins folder from the get-go, but that is completely fine. Just locate the four bone lab folder, click on it, and then locate the mods and use a data folder and then just drag and drop into your directory. Similar process as before. Now once you successfully installed Bonelib and your code mod in its dependencies, you can now run your game, go to your preferences menu, and then you should see a bone menu as a new little tab. Click on it, and then you should see all of the mod settings that you need for your code mods. If you do not see a Bone Menu tab in your Preferences tab in Bone Lab, I highly recommend redoing the installation process of Bone Lib. Now, to install Fusion. To install Fusion is a very similar process as before. Go to the Thunderstorm page, and then click Manual Download. Fusion does not have any other dependencies other than Melon Loader and Bone Lib, so you're fine. Now, the installation of Fusion is a very, very similar process as before. Locate your Bone Lab directory, open up your Fusion zip file, find your mods and plugins folder, and then just drag and drop into your directory, and it will automatically sort itself out. Before you start messing around in Fusion, you need to have the latest version of Steam installed, and you need to have made an account. This is because Fusion uses Steam networking in order to run its servers. There is no other way to run Fusion properly without Steam, so you will have to use Steam. There is no other way around it. 
And that's it. You've installed your first code mods and you've installed Fusion. Now go out there and have fun. Thank you for watching. Please, please don't talk about